Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How you guys doing? Welcome to Daily Vacation Vlog number 19. How you guys doing? We're out shopping today with Scotty. How you doing, guys? And we just left the res. And now we're heading through port. Gonna go to Walmart and do some looking around. I don't know if I actually need all that much today. I need a few things Tell them about the from weather. Walmart. But uh, there's coffee and groceries and stuff that are cheaper to buy there than they are at home. But other than that, I don't think I need a whole lot. But we'll go looking around. Browse anyway. What's Why the not? weather like? Well, how's, the, how's the weather? Tell them about the weather. You tell them about the, the weather. You brought up. it up. Well, this is March, and wherever they're watching from, it's probably spring, but not here. Nice and sunny, but cold. Oh, yeah. It is cold. Yeah. We're not dressed like this for nothing. <laughs> and we're inside. We made it. We're inside Walmart. And where's the first section Scotty goes to? The coats. I saw you looking at the coats back there. I don't know, even lie. I did. I did. I, I see. Looking, I know. I was looking at the bikinis too, you guys. I don't. It's terrifying me right now. I I had to ask you another question. I forgot what that was. Okay. It must be really important then. It was. <laughs> it was a. Like something along the lines that we were talking about. I don't know. Tetanus and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I don't know, dude. That'll come to you, I'm sure. Yeah, maybe. I need to. I need to find stretchy gloves. If you ever need to need stretchy gloves. I was going to tell you last gloves. weekend. I forgot. That's that's all. Okay. Well, hopefully it's not really important yeah, or time it. sensitive. I haven't seen you in four days. Hopefully it's not time the sensitive. The hats either. are out there too, you know. What hats? Those hats? But I have a hat. I got a cool We the Kings hat. It's way cooler than a Batman hat. See, this hat that I'm wearing is way cooler than this hat. Ooh. Not that there's anything wrong with Batman, but my We the Kings hat's way the cooler than Batman. Look at these sexy things. I would look like an idiot wearing that. Try it. I don't want to take my hat off. It's holding my hair under. I hair, need a haircut. Got hair. He needs, he's afraid to show you guys. Look at that. That's They've cool. seen it. Everyone in the last few videos told me I need a haircut. Only for 12 bucks, Canadian. Well, there you go. But you want to be re you want to be reckless? Are you reckless? <laughs> Wandered around to the electronic section, and now we're just kind of browsing around. They still got a ton of Skylanders. There's a lot of Skylanders in the store. I don't know if Skylanders have lost popularity or not. Really not too sure about that, but. I don't know. Anyway, they seem to have lost uh, popularity or something. I don't know. They got computer speakers, but they look pretty crappy. So, there you go. Those are more portable speakers than computer speakers. I didn't actually see any computer speakers. Portable speakers, yes, but not so much computer speakers. Mine are for delivery. So, hopefully, UPS doesn't come before I get home. But if they do, that's not a big deal. They'll come back tomorrow. So, not really that big of a deal since Tris is not home and I'm not there there's nobody there to answer the door so cool beans hopefully they don't come until I get home hopefully water out of the games game. I haven't really been playing many games on vacation this year but uh, what they got here what they got here for PlayStation PS4 Sony I hear increased the price of the PS4 in Canada by 50 bucks, which kind of sucks, but there you go. Apparently because of the weaker Canadian dollar, Sony has decided they needed to raise the price of the PS4 by 50 bucks. They also raised the price of games by $10, so instead of being 59 bucks, they're 69 bucks now, which uh, is kind of a rip off and certainly not encouraging me to buy a new PS4 anytime so I thought I didn't really want that one that much in the first place but I certainly don't want one now not really seeing any games that are piquing my interest however Skyrim and Bioshock Infinite for $29.96 is a pretty good deal um, two games for $29.96 for Skyrim and Bioshock Infinite it's actually a pretty good deal Thief I've seen some people playing that I don't know if I'm really into that or not, although I have some seen some people playing it. There's some new Lego games for PS3 and PS4. Or the Lego movie game. 
Eh, you know, whatever. We got Batman and uh, what else do we got? Call of Duty. Meh. Doesn't do much for me either. I mean, GTA 5 is still 60 bucks. I already have it for Xbox anyway, so. I already have GTA 5 for Xbox anyway. I got stuck in that one part, re robbing the bank depository, or the federal depository. And I never got past it, actually. Then I kind of lost interest in playing. I did all the side missions and everything. I still, for some reason, couldn't quite make it past that one section, so I actually got discouraged and stopped playing. But here's your TV. Your new TV's here. Oh, yeah. It's only $44.88. Maybe not. More like $4,500. Cool beans, we are all done at Walmart, heading home. And the crazy thing is, it is March, and they still have snowblower out on the highway, blowing back the snow banks on the highway. I don't think you guys can see them anymore. But they still had a snowblower out on the highway, blowing back the snow banks on the side of the highway. Halfway through March. On the shoulders. Almost April. And they're blowing back the snow banks off the shoulder of the highway. Holy cow. That's ridiculous, dude. Yeah. But two two years ago, we were wearing shorts this time of year. Yeah. Well, you can wear shorts. They do that in California, I understand. They go skiing and they go swimming. Same yeah, but thing. it's 60 degrees in California, but it's cold as it gets. Yeah, I know. One's in a mountain, one's not. I'd be, I'd be wearing shorts right now if it was 60 degrees. <laughs> I'd probably be sweating. Oh, yeah. We're used to minus 20. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There's an example. You can see they've been by here and cut back the snowbank. The one's not moving. It's kind of crazy. But uh, you can see they've been by here and cut in the back the snowbanks. There's another section coming up here where you can see they've been by with the snowblower. Blower. Blowing back the banks again off the shoulder so people can pull over. Crazy that it's March, a, almost April. Can you get all those? And we're still doing that. Why? They have windmills in the States, too. You I know that. No, right? but this is Canada. Yeah. You know. They know we have windmills. The, the States have already probably I already did a vlog like last year, I believe, where you went on a whole rant about windmills. Because it doesn't work. I know that. It costs very expensive. I know. Well, we're still putting them up. I know. And we can't stop it either. No, I know that. Cool Beans back home again. The UPS guy came by the house and he dropped off a package for me. At first I was very excited about it. Now I'm a little disappointed. Because as, told, as I mentioned to you guys the other day, I ordered the Logitech Z523 speakers for my iMac since the sound coming out of my iMac is kind of meh. Not, you know, fantastic. So I thought we'll get some better sound out of the iMac. So I went ahead and ordered these that are sitting in a pile on the floor. As you can see, um, they were not super effective. Um, apparently, the subwoofer is completely dead. It's just defective. Um, satellites work, but the subwoofer itself is completely dead. No hissing, no buzzing. No sound of any kind being emitted by the subwoofer. So there you go. I was going to return them to Amazon. So I logged into my Amazon account. I was going to return them and I clicked on this uh, return this item. And then it said this item is not eligible for returns. And I was like, ah, no. Because they were purchased and sold, sold from and shipped directly by Amazon. So I'm like, well, why can't I return them? Because they're defective and it was sold directly by Amazon not a third-party seller so I should be able to return them so I got on the phone to the fine folks over there at Amazon and said hey guys listen these things don't work and the dude I spoke to was very apologetic about it he said in fact he said I'm very sorry they arrived defective sir we're gonna send you out a new replacement set so they're gonna send me an entire box whole new set uh, for free no charge so um, that's pretty cool. I don't even have to return these ones because they arrived defective. So um, I don't have to return these. They're just going to send out a new set. So I'll have a couple extra satellite speakers that I could use for something. I don't know if the other ones break maybe or some. I don't know what I'll do with them. But there you go. Anyway, so now i got to wait for a few more days for those to arrive. 
and then hopefully those ones won't arrive defective like these ones hopefully all right so i am pretty hungry but i don't want a big meal i just i want something simple tonight so i'm gonna have a couple sandwiches but here's something you guys might not know about me. I'm a little bit weird. I mean, obviously, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you already know that I'm a little bit weird. But my, I'm very particular when it comes to my sandwiches. I like them a certain way. One, you got to put the mayonnaise on that side. Okay? Mayonnaise got to go there. And there. then you can put your meat on. And then you can go ahead and put your onions on. And like so. I'm very particular about how I put my sandwiches together. I, I, I like them together in a certain way. This is not, by the way, how I make sandwiches at the restaurant. This is the way that I like to have my sandwiches. I'm a little weird and a little different. It's okay. It's fine. And then you put your mustard on the other side. You cannot put the mayonnaise and the mustard together on the same side. Because that's gross. I like the mustard on the other opposite side. Like so. That's how I like to make my sandwiches. And then you put it together. Also, I don't like lettuce. And I never put lettuce on my own sandwiches. I don't like lettuce. It's... I get something about the texture. I don't know. It's weird and squeaky when you eat it. It's kind of a little bit squeaky. And I don't really like that. So, I'm not a big fan of lettuce. I don't really like lettuce on my sandwiches, so there you go. That, that's how I make my sandwiches. So then you go ahead and put the meat on the other side of the sandwich. I had started putting it on here, but then I wanted to record this for you guys, so then I went and grabbed the camera, and now I'm finishing making my sandwiches, because uh, contrary to what you guys might think, I don't walk around with the camera on me all the time. Sometimes I do put it down, I know, I should probably carry it all the time, but I, I don't always. It's not always in my pocket. And then you put your onion on. And then you go ahead and take your mustard. I'll show you guys again. And put your mustard on the other side. Also, I don't like a lot of mustard. I only like a little bit. On the other side. Like so. There you see. Perfect. Oh, there you go. That's good. Cool beans. That's how you do it. That's how you make a tone sandwich. And then you put it together. Boom, just like, so. oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Cool beans. And then you go over here and there's only one piece of meat left in the whole package, so then you just eat it. Cool beans. So there you go. That's how you make a Tony sandwich. We're pretty good. We are hanging out over here. Hey, Fiora. Uh, What's up? Nothing much. Playing Sims? Cool beans. Is this your house? Yeah. Mommy, did you Pretty nice. Did you show your people in my St. Patrick's Day cupcake? No. I need to get a job. Yes, you do. <laughs> I mean. Oh, you mean in Sims? Oh, it's just completely Why different than what I was school? talking about. St. Patrick's Day was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, no one cares anymore. <laughs> I'm terrible brother, I know. Trista made St. Patrick's Day cupcakes and apparently she feels that it's necessary to share them with you. She took some of them to the school and she put some with shamrocks on it and some have sprinkles and I'll probably have one of those for dessert after my sandwiches. So we're going to have my sandwiches and a coffee. Okay, got my coffee and my sandwiches. And then we're gonna have a, a St. Patrick's Day cupcake for dessert, and that's gonna be my dinner. I'm hungry, but I'm not super hungry. Just I don't want a big meal. I just I just want something simple and easy tonight. So there you go, cool beans. And then I'm probably gonna go watch some Netflix and watch some Fringe on Netflix or something while I um, eat my sandwiches and stuff and just relax for the rest of the day. Rest of the day. Rest of the day cool beans so there you go that's pretty much gonna do it for today's vlog I'm starting to get into full-on vacation mode I'm getting very relaxed now I'm starting to feel better my legs feeling a little bit better 
I'm getting super relaxed and uh, it's pretty awesome. You know, well, the best thing about vacation is you don't have to do anything. I'm so busy most of the time working six days a week and so on and so forth. I always feel like there's something I should be doing. So vacation time is awesome because I can just like, kind of chill and relax and I don't feel like I have to do stuff all the time. So it's awesome. I like that a lot. Cool beans. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button if you like this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Cool beans. Rock on.